Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Now today I'm yet again looking at another distro for the Raspberry Pi 4. What you're looking at here may look like Windows 10, but look closely, it's actually a Linux distribution based on Ubuntu, cleverly disguised as Windows 10, and I must say it's a very good likeness. So taking a look at the desktop, we can see we've got a shortcut to my computer, we've got our home folder, and a shortcut to our network, and our trash can. Along the bottom we've got our calendar, We've got our battery monitor that shows the battery status of our wireless connected peripherals. We've got the sound settings, then we've got our wireless and wired connections. We've got printer settings, adding and removing printers, and same again with Bluetooth connections. Now along the bottom left, just like Windows, we've got File Explorer, and it brings up our file system with Home, Desktop, etc, just like Windows. Next along the bottom, it's Add and Remove Software, and you've got access to all software you might need, and it's all categorised. And you can also view your in-source software and updates pending. Looks like I've got two pending. And we can view all our workspaces and add more workspaces. Now what brings this all together is this start menu. It looks and it acts just like Windows 10. You've got quick access to applications along the side here. Explorer, Terminal, Settings and Mozilla Browser. Taking a look at Settings, we've got access to Appearance and Preferences. You've got Themes and we've got Hot Corners for your desktop. So we can assign actions to each corner of the desktop and we can change the way our desktop looks, we can decide on what we want to show on our desktop. It's as easy as toggling these buttons. Now this next feature is probably not available on Windows 10, and that is the ability to add desk lids. So these are basically like widgets you can have on your desktop, and they update with live information, and you can download more and change the settings. By just clicking on the plus sign, you can add the widget to your desktop, and then just freely move it to where you want it. So taking a look at downloads, just press yes to update the cache, and we can now download any widget we like. I'm going to try this weather widget here. Now I also like the look of this CPU widget. So again I click on the download arrow and it downloads it for me. Now once it's downloaded we go back to manage and then just add it with the plus sign. So that's the CPU widget and we can also add the weather widget. Just like before we just click on the plus sign and there we go guys it looks pretty cool if you ask me. Now the other cool thing with this is you can add applets to your menu bar which is like having widgets on your menu bar. And it's the same method of downloading the widgets and then applying them to your menu bar. So I've downloaded my weather widget and I'm going to apply it to my menu bar. And there it is, it looks pretty sweet. And of course productivity is covered with the LibreOffice suite. Tips and all. Now another handy little tool is the system monitor which is under administration. Now using the Mozilla browser, video playback on YouTube was relatively smooth at 720p. A little bit of stuttering but no screen tearing. But that's to be expected with a 32-bit operating system on the Raspberry Pi. So guys, to get a copy of this, just head on over to the Linus FX website and click on Linus FX on the top menu and select the ARM Raspberry Pi version and that will take you to their download page and from there scroll all the way down to the download button and click on download and then simply just click on the green download button and you're on your way and just use something like Bellina Etcher to burn the image onto your SD card. So guys if you found this video helpful give us a like and maybe even a subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. M engine the S55 if you're a BMW anorak.